Hi, now let's discuss about the biological responses to biomaterials, especially the foreign body response to implanted biomaterials. So you can consider that uh, some of the implants, such as, let's say, breast implants in, into the breast of a human, and uh, that silicone, uh, it depends on the person and it's still not yet clear, but over time, uh, these biomaterials our body considers as a foreign body. So try to uh, engulf, uh, if it's very small, but the, in general, these biomaterials are big. Then our macrophage, uh, which is our immune cell, uh, the cell eating cells, uh, try to engulf it, but it's impossible. So it's uh, frustrated. Later on, they secrete also uh, generate a collagen secretion uh, by fibroblasts to make a collagen capsule to effectively consider this as a foreign, even if it's inside our body. Uh, so it causes a problem, inflammation, and um, later there could be a, a serious um, a problem can happen. Okay, so implanted biomaterials, um, uh, there are complex uh, biological response to an implanted biomaterial due to the presence of our body, the blood, and inside tissue, interstitial fluids, and also multiple cell types, which will directly or indirectly uh, interact with the implanted biomaterials. So what are typical responses? So first, proteins from the blood plasma and interstitial fluid will directly touch and coat the surfaces of biomaterial. And that we call as adsorption or through fluid adsorb. So it's not absorbed, but adsorb, okay? Uh, which is a holding molecule as a thin film on the outer surface or internal surfaces within the material. And the cells, uh, experts believe, are interacting with this protein layer and not directly with the material surfaces because the, the response seems to be pretty consistent. And that we call as a foreign body response or foreign body reaction, which is a unique inflammation, inflammation response resulting in the formation of foreign body and big cells called giant cells, I will show you later, directly on the polymer surface and subsequent encapsulation of the implant by a fibrous capsule, uh, which is composed of mostly collagen fiber. So let me show you a, a typical example of biomaterial, which is a surgical suture after, uh, you know, like if, if we had a surgical cut, we need to uh, close it or from injury. So this is a picture of surgical uh, suture and uh, the suture, uh, the needle will be removed, but the suture uh, thread will remain into the body. So that will cause a foreign body reaction. And uh, let's take a, a high, um, hemotoxylin and eosin stain picture. So this is a, a cross section of the surgical suture. Over time, you can see uh, these sutures surrounding the suture you can see many uh, darker dots, which is uh, represent a nucleus, and some cells having multiple nuclei. You can actually find it over here, and, and that is uh, those are called a giant cells. Which why it's called giant because it's a, a multiple nucleus, not single, uh, multinucleated foreign body giant cell. We call it, and from this is from. A macrophage, multiple macrophages are fused. So one example is this uh, HNA picture. You can see in one single big cell having multiple, multiple nucleus, nuclei. So uh, uh, this uh, cartoon depicts how it, uh, it, it forms. So the um, precursor of macrophage it is when, when they are in the blood uh, plasma, they are called the monocytes. So monocytes are uh, when there is a, a soft a hard tissue and biomaterial causing some inflammatory uh, signal, 
they will uh, go through from the blood and into the tissue uh, via this chemotaxis from uh, the, those chemicals uh, signals, and they migrate into the tissue, either soft or hard, uh, to uh, polymer or metal biomaterials. Then at the interface, so monocytes will uh, turn into macrophage, and that biomaterial and tissue interface, they will migrate to that and then try to ad adhere to the uh, biomaterial and they differentiate. And um, somehow the biomaterials are not really eatable like, or uh, treatable, so they adhe adhere and differentiate into, they activate the macrophage and try to fuse so that they, they may try to cover this biomaterial. And so they have uh, this specific giant cell formation. So transition from a blood circulating monocyte to biomaterial and tissue interface and adhere monocyte macrophage to form foreign body giant cell. 